Welcome back. What we're going to do next is install the three inch guns in the stern and the bow here. And also we'll do the six inch guns along the side of the hull. Uh, and that will allow us to put in the, the main decks. For the three inch guns front and back, we need to install some framework, uh, which is on fret nine. And that's these window type things here. So we'll just cut off the nibs as we've done before using a, a hard plate to cut against. And then as before, we'll just use the, the full wet scissors to, to cut off the nibs. Not much really needed to use the file. The scissors do a good job, particularly on straight sections. There's nothing really to take off. Okay, so I'll, I'll do the other ones. Okay, so they're all uh, cleaned up. So just be mindful that there's two different styles obviously for the front and the back and for the orientation hopefully you can see two little marks that's for the hatches so the rear hatches hinge on the bottom so this is a stern one and then the front or the bow they hinge on the top so if you keep that together you you can't go wrong also in the back hopefully you can see the top and bottom there's an, an edge line and that's for bending and you could probably just bend it simply enough so we need to hold these up to the to the gun ports and just get the angle right okay so here we have the stern starboard side okay so judging on the that front part i've over bent it too much so now uh, again, we have to be careful because you can only bend these so much times. Okay, still needs a good bend forward to get that. Okay, so it's almost in position. It's almost there. So let me do this off camera so I can get in a boat and then we'll come back. Okay, so I finally got it in place. Uh, you can probably see this bit actually snapped off. So what I did was I fixed this bit by gluing it at the bottom first and then pushing out the top and gluing that. I was then able to insert this section here, get lined up at the bottom, glued it and then pushed and pulled the very top as best I could. So. So as you can see, it's not the best. Uh, I think it'll get quite busy in this area anyway, so it's going to get lost in the noise of all the other bits and pieces. But I'll, I'll fit the rest of them now anyway. Okay, so they're fitted. They're not the best. Uh, it's a combination of the full which not being a great fit and my lack of skills. So the stern, uh, the bow, sorry, is the worst one. So as you can see, the angle of the full which doesn't really match the angle of uh, the, the hull. So you've got a big gap up in this corner. These have external hatches. So what I might do is just put this one in the closed position and I would hide that. Again, the fit in the back is not the best. And as you can see, the full edge is a bit on the stern, a bit oversized. So it's hard to get that to fit in. So I kind of just had to sand it back a wee bit. Once it's painted up and all the other clutter, hopefully it's not so obvious. And again, I'll, when time comes, I'll see about opening and closing various hatches. So. Okay, so before we start priming and painting, we'll just mask off uh, behind the gun ports. And I'll just stop the overspray going through onto the deck. Now, I don't think it matters, like I said, you won't be able to see very much here. And then just to protect the, the red paint, so we're going to have to keep touching it up. We'll just put in some. Uh, mask in here as well. 
Okay. So we're all masked up now. We'll go on with the climb. So again, Mr. Finishing, surface at 1500. Okay, so that's all the gun ports uh, color coded with the LP14. So they're all done now. So what we'll be able to do is install these guns. These are the six inch ones. So previously I went through and checked the holes because they were a bit irregular. So some of them were quite slack. Some of them were a, a nice fit. So I've just marked up the ones that was a good fit, which was a tick and then S for being slack or sloppy or whatever. For the nice fit ones, I'll just use Rebel Contactor. And then what I'll do is I'll just apply it with a toothpick. Don't want to get glue on the top surface because then that will lock the gun. If I get just into the hole, then only the pin will be glued. So, feed it through. make it straight just in case I do glue the gun itself and not just the pin and because it's a nice fit the gun sits pretty level okay so let's handle the camera but it, that looks pretty good there I'll do the rest of the tick ones and then we'll come back and look at the ones that were slack and how we're going to deal with them okay so we've got two on the starboard side done and we've got two on the port side so that was the ones we could just use glue straight off for these ones here with the s which means slack what i was thinking is that i would use uh, spray glue the reason being hopefully it takes up a bit of the gap and then it would melt into the side of the hole and melt into the pin. So it'll be the same situation. We'll just fill the hole up and try and keep it off the top surface. It's starting to sink into the hole already, so if we can get this in before it disappears. Okay. There we go. So same deal, we'll square it up just in case we get some. I'm also going to put some tape on here just to push down in the back and that will lift the front. And that will keep the bar all lifted up just because it's a whole slack, it might have a tendency to sink. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Again, I'll just do the rest of them and then we'll come back. Okay, so that's some old glue then. It's relatively easy. Hopefully the sprue glue works for uh, loose holes. Now for the, the carved casemates here, I chose to put the gun out at an angle and we'll have a top down view. Uh, so all the other ones are pointing 90 degrees out in the four corners, point at an angle. I kind of lined them up with some marks for the hatch covers, the hatches, so they should be equal both sides. And then, as you can see, I've got the other side done as well. We'll do an overview. here. So, some of them look a bit on the angle, but I think it's just a camera because they look fine to the eye. And then you can see the four outer ones are a bit of an angle. I guess it's dealer's choice whether you put them all forward, back, sideways, whatever you want. I thought I'd kind of come off the, the curve close to 90. Okay, so we'll do the three inch guns in the bow and the star now. So the three inch guns are going to be tricky to get into their location. So as you can see the back here, you have to fit them from the back side and then they cut out here. And hopefully you can just make out that one there behind the grill. What I think I'm going to do is, so I've got something to hold on to. 
I'll just cut the, the toothpick and then that way I'll have something to, to hold on to to maneuver it into position. Uh, if I, if I remove the toothpick altogether, I've only got a few mil to hold and get it into that slot. So that's it trimmed down. So now I'll apply some glue and, well, actually I might do a dry fit first. So I've got them in some curved tweezers. Let's see how I'm getting on. I actually think I'm going to have to do, I actually think I'll have to come in like this rather than trying to film coming in this side. Okay, I managed to get these in. The only way I could do it was by tipping the hull on its side, hence I, I didn't film it because you, you wouldn't have been able to see anyway. Uh, this one here is the only one it went fully into its correct position in the slot. What I found was the rest of them, the shield was preventing them getting high enough to clear the pedestal. For the pedestal to slot in so as you can see that when the, the shields touching the very top of, of the, the plastic so that was like maybe half a mil too high to allow the the ridge on the pedestal to clear the slot uh, so look they're not in their full positions but uh, i'm going to leave it uh, so that's all the guns done and you're probably wondering why going to all this trouble now and that's to allow me to fit the main decks permanently now lessons learned i did all the priming and color coating the gun ports these barrels are going to be very vulnerable now so if i was doing this again i would i wouldn't bother painting inside because the gaps is very minimal and i would have just prepared the guns glued them in place but without the barrels because if you test fit you can see the barrel is going to be a, a good fit anyway so i would have installed these wouldn't bother priming or painting wouldn't bother with this put the deck on and then down the track once we're ready to do the color coat on the hull side i would then glue the barrels in and then just prime and spray as normal because you'd have access anyway i thought i was being smart doing this but now I'll have to be very careful. But it's done anyway, so let's go on with the, the main deck. There's a number of areas on the deck uh, that we need to remove, as you can see highlighted purple on the Pontus instructions. So what we'll do is, we'll do the same. We'll highlight them as, as we did for the hull. So that's all the areas marked up that we need to remove in the bow and on the stern. These two are pretty, Obvious. And then we've got the midships. Just take a bit of time and care marking these up because the drawing's smaller. It's sometimes not obvious where the parts are in relation to each other. So just take a bit of time marking them up. So now it's just a case of removing the highlighted areas with the same methods we did for the hull, the round blade, the little homemade chisel and the rotary bar. So these are going to be relatively easy because we just have to reduce it to the level of the deck. So we can use the chisel for these little areas, so these little pegs. Just to tidy them up. And then we'll use the rotary bar for the bigger areas. But you get the idea anyway, so let me just uh, the rest of them because I'm sure you don't want to watch me for the whole time. So that's the decks cleaned up. All the mouldings that we need to remove has been taken off. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I guess a lot of it's covered by the wood deck, so the odd gouge here and there won't matter. So let's get these glued up onto the hull. So we'll do a trial fit with the, the deck parts. The way they've designed this is really good. So 
the vertical wall of the lower gun deck actually supports the the upper deck particularly good where the the, the decks join because you can make sure they're flush so with the midships deck what we need to make sure is we get it the right way around so these angled sections is for the winches and they go to the stern spot here there we go so this is looking really nice the stars a wee bit of a gap there but nothing of note the mid decks really nice fit and then at the front here bits of gaps here but this is easily pulled in I mean it doesn't take a great deal of force to get that to go in same at the front Okay, so I think we'll, we'll start going this in. A wee bit of a pull there, but we'll be able to, and it, it's not a great deal to push it down, so that's okay. And then at the stern again, just a wee bit, oh, you can hear it, just a wee bit. The middle is fine. So I just need to be careful. And the guns, as we pointed out before. Okay, so we'll use the rubber contactor again. And I'm going to leave the decks in place and I'll make sure that any movement is accounted for because if I take these out and I come back slightly, it might upset the rest of it. So. Okay. So I'll work from the front because, um, as we mentioned, we need to close this in, so. A wee bit of glue is not up here, but that's okay, we can scrape that off after. And then this part here, I'm going to make sure it goes down. So I'll make sure it's held down onto the underside ribs. And the midships is a really good fit, so if you have any problems there. So the same deal here, I'll just pull a block and that will keep that down to the edge. Have to watch your guns now, that's a new problem. Just put a block down there. And then lastly, we'll do the stern. Okay. Okay, so that's the, the deck glued on. It was quite a milestone. I'll now be able to start working on all the attachments in detail on the side, which will then allow me to prime and color coat it and then get the wooden decks on and then 
move, move upwards. So I'm going to call it there for this video. Yeah, we'll get to some more, or more exciting stuff next.